Welcome again friends, uh, welcome to Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about feedback inhibition, okay? And we are talking about the feedback enzyme inhibition, okay? We have been talking about many different uh, inhibition or enzyme inhibition processes. Feedback inhibition is a very unique process that is very common in uh, our body, in every cell, uh, that to regulate the production of certain products in our body. That could be the metabolic products, or any product that's required in our digestion. I'm going to give you some examples later. But ultimately, feedback inhibition is a system with which the cell regulates uh, the production of some products by the concentration of the product, okay? That means, in this whole process, the idea is very easy and basic. That is, we have the enzyme, okay? And the enzyme has the active site. This is the active site of the enzyme where the substrate will bind. Okay, and let's say there is a set of enzymatic reactions. In our body actually not a single enzyme reaction you generally find. You find uh, multiple enzyme reactions at the same time going on in our body uh, to create all the cellular processes and make all the cellular processes happening all the time. So in that case, multiple enzymes are there. The product of one enzyme is taken as a substrate of the second enzyme and so on and it will go on and on and on to provide us the product that we require, the ultimate breakdown product that we require for our function. You can take example like glycolysis for an example, multiple enzymes are working, uh, start point of the glucose and ultimately producing pyruvate. We want pyruvate at the end, but not a single enzyme can convert glucose into pyruvate. Multiple enzymes are reacting together to give us that. Now the idea is, if pyruvate is prepared in high concentration, then we don't require, let's say in, in a cell, we have a lot of pyruvate buildup, okay? And uh, the pyruvate has started to build up inside the cell, so it means the cell is not utilizing the pyruvate much. So in those situations, when the cell think that uh, we produce a lot of pyruvate uh, there and it's not being cleared out, so in that case, they need to have a sense of a signal that we prepared enough pyruvate, we don't need to prepare it anymore. So we need to stop preparation of the pyruvate. So for that reason, the concentration of pyruvate will act as an inhibitor. The pyruvate molecule in that case act as an inhibitor to block the whole glycolysis pathway up to a certain point so that no further pyruvate molecule is being made. Okay, And this is called feedback inhibition. In that scenario, if we go to this example, let's say an enzyme, enzyme have the active site as well as it has the allosteric regulator site. This is the allosteric allosteric site. Now this enzyme can bind with substrate and it can bind with all the molecules that will regulate its function and stuff. Now the thing is, let's say this uh, enzyme is interacting with a substrate. Let's say we are not going to talk more about the allosteric uh, regulation here, but it will bind to a substrate. Uh, once the substrate is attached to the enzyme, the substrate is converted into the product. Let's say this is the product. Okay. Now, this product is taken by another enzyme, the second enzyme, this enzyme and again this will be acting as a substrate for this second enzyme and then it will convert it into the third product which is it. Now this third product acts as a substrate of another enzyme. like that and now this substrate can bind here and finally it will give our product let's say this one so this is the ultimate product that we want for example now let's say in the cell we have a lot of this product build up so if the concentration of product is higher inside the cell then we don't require this product to build further. So what it will do? This product will signal to either of these enzymes. Either of these enzymes. Okay? It can interact with this enzyme or that enzyme or this enzyme. Now let's say this enzyme has a specific uh, regulator or uh, allosteric site like this. And one of this product will go and bind there. So upon binding of the product to this allosteric site, it will modify the active site and then what will happen due to this modification, let's 
let's say they will modify it into some kind of structure like this. So as a result of this modification, this substrate can no longer bind to this enzyme. So the product preparation is halted. Okay. So what we are looking here is some downstream product going upstream to any of the enzymes and it will bind to the enzyme and it will prevent the enzyme to prepare the further product. That is a feedback, right? It's a feedback loop. And this feedback is known as a negative feedback because it's preventing the feedback to go forward, okay? Because let's say for this whole process to occur, they require energy in every step. Here, here, and here, uh, okay? Uh, not here. And let's say here. So in every step, they require ATP as an energy source. So if there are plenty of products inside the cell and if they are still going through this whole process, they are going to invest a lot of ATP. So they are going to invest a lot of ATP and waste a lot of energy and cell will never compromise with the energy source because it takes a hard time, a long time for the cell and all complicated processes for the cell to produce it. So it will never allow that. So it will try to prevent the loss of energy as the ATP as an energy currency there and in some cases the product that they produce can be I mean they don't require the product anymore much or there can be another scenario where the product accumulation can act as toxicity let's say the product if present in a specific concentration is less toxic but if the concentration of the product increases it will be toxic to the cell so in that condition also the product will not allow it to be produced again and again and we know this this thing is possible in case of we see in case of bacteria we have different approaches uh, for that uh, uh, the whole concept not only for the enzyme feedback inhibition here but also in case of any other scenarios like in operon if you look at in bacteria lack operon if the lactose is present uh, then only then only they will uh, the production of the lactose depends on whether the, there is a concentration uh, production of beta galactoside is, is dependent on the concentration of lactose that is uh, present or not. If lactose is present, then only they will produce beta galactoside, otherwise not. Though it's not enzyme inhibition, but I'm going to give you the idea that cell always try to do that. It try to control uh, the productivity and the production of certain molecules inside. And that plays a vital role always for uh, the process, for, for all the cellular processes that we are observing right now. So that's uh, the enzyme feedback inhibition that we see, okay? And uh, example, uh, real life example in our case, the production of bile salts or bile acids mostly. Production of bile acids uh, been controlled like that or also you can see in case of metabolic uh, expressions like I told you the example of the production of pyruvate, pyruvate from, from glucose. This also required this feedback inhibition. If pyruvate is present, it is going to inhibit the earlier enzyme that will convert phosphoenol pyruvate to the pyruvate. Okay, uh, so that is another very important step. It is going to control phosphoenol pyruvate activity. This enzyme, uh, this enzyme, uh, the dehydrogenase. I mean, phosphoenol pyruvate is the first uh, earlier product from where the pyruvate is made, and there's a single direction, unidirectional process, which is controlled by the pyruvate concentration itself. So these are the important stuff about the feedback inhibition which plays a vital role to control the production of certain products by the enzymatic reaction. So I hope you learn what is feedback inhibition. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends in all social networking platforms and definitely subscribe to my channel. Links are provided here on the top, on the bottom so that you can get more, more and more videos like that. Thank you.